In this video, we're going to talk about some of the basics of quadratic functions. And every quadratic function will always have this kind of form. And we can only have a quadrat quadratic function if a is anything but zero. If a is zero, then I have a linear function because that whole entire first term cancels out. And this is the general picture for a quadratic function, and it has a special name. It is called a parabola. And um, the parent function for your quadratic function, um, y equals x squared, um, actually goes through the origin, right, right here. Um, and it's symmetric about the y-axis. In other words, whatever I have on this side of my graph, so over here, it's like a mirrored image over here on the left-hand side. Um, granted, this function can be moved around or translated um, within a graph, but it will always have some sort of axis of symmetry. And one other thing that we have in a parabola is called a vertex. And typically in an angle, um, we have the vertex being that sharp point right here. Right here. Um, in a parabola, it's basically the minimum or maximum point that we have. It's kind of where this axis of symmetry intersects our parabola, but this is just going to be called our vertex, so it's the minimum or the maximum value. Something else that we can happen too is if you look right over here, this does not say tax, that's just a positive sign. Um, so if our a value is positive, our parabola will always open upwards like a smiley face. And if our a value happens to be negative, it will always be pointing downwards like a frowny face. And also what's interesting is in the positive parabola, this guy right here, um, the vertex will always be a minimum value. It's the lowest value that you can have. Whereas on the negative parabola, this guy right here, the vertex is always going to be a maximum. It's always going to have the highest point there. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is the um, different factors that A can be and what that does to our graph. So we can have A um, be greater than 1, such as this, y equals 2x squared. We could also have A be between 0 and 1. In other words, it's a fraction, um, a proper fraction at that. Now granted, both of these can also be negative, which just means that the graph gets flipped downwards, right? It goes from smiley face to frowny face. But what does it do to the overall picture of my graph compared to the parent function? So what I've done here is I drew a quick sketch of my parent function on both the graphs so that we can actually see the difference and how it changes if A changes. So if you happen to have A as a value that's greater than 1, it's going to make your parabola steeper. It's going to be thinner. In other words, the branches get closer to the y-axis. It's like it gets smushed inwards this way. Okay, so it gets steeper if a is greater than 1. If a happens to be a proper fraction between 0 and 1, it's going to flatten it out more. So something like this. Okay, in other words, the function is getting smushed towards the x-axis like that. It gets flattened out. So those are the differences um, that happen to your graph if a is anything but 1. So if it's greater, it makes it steeper. If it's in between 0 and 1, it makes it flatter to the x-axis. And those are your basics of quadratic functions, and that will conclude this tutorial.